Hello everybody, Marty Worm has returned with a, uh, another installment to my vinyl collection. But before we get going real serious on that, a um, couple things. First of all, in the background, if you can hear it, I am listening to Darth Vader's Church Descendant Upheaval. I don't know where these guys are from. Old death metal. Good, vile sounding, old sounding, excellent stuff. And I also have two albums of the week that I've been spinning the crap out of since I got them. The first one is a Norwegian duo named Gouge. What is this? Beyond Death is the name of the CD. I heard this on Fenris's radio show on SoundCloud. He's apparently friends with one of the guys, and it is fucking fantastic um, old style death they sound very much like a uh, cross between repulsion due to the very loud audible bass and the style of vocals are very much reminiscent of repulsion mixed with a Swedish death or Finnish death maybe um, grime but the bass is like shining on this thing it's Way out in the mix, really distorted, and very inventive. Uh, very big fan of that album. You guys should check it out. I have, if anybody has a copy of this on vinyl and are maybe not too thrilled about it, let me know. I wouldn't mind picking that up from you in a trade or buying it. Second up is Cosmic Church with uh, Vigilia. I'm saying Vigilia. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. I am Finnish, but not of correct finish involvement so I don't know the language but this is the latest mini CD from this one man Finnish black metal band needless to say a lot of you guys have been showing uh, Cosmic Church stuff vinyl on your channels and you know what I really am typically turned off by the hype machine and uh, I decided to give this one a try and you are all exactly correct this shit is fantastic Definitely some of the best black metal I've heard. Definitely up my alley. Very much in the vein of black metal that I love, which is highly atmospheric. Um, probably the best Finnish black metal band I've heard. I mean, the Finnish black metal scene is known basically for the, the crust and the grime, but these guys are fucking great, man. So good. I am looking for this one on vinyl as well. If anybody has, I think Arcane Alter are getting copies. I'm anxiously awaiting that. Uh, I picked up some other stuff, their last full length, which is a 2LP, and also a split with Blood Red Fog on vinyl, which I haven't listened to. I just got them yesterday, and I had a lot of time to listen to either of them. So. One more thing before I move on. Um, there is a guy that a lot of you YouTubers should check out. The name of the channel is Phantasmagoria Theater. It is probably one of the best channels I've seen. As far as production values go, um, he shows great underground, dark death and dark black metal, and also some experimental stuff, folk stuff. He isn't pigeonholed to one genre, which is nice. Um, the way he presents his videos and uh, the products he's showing is very inventive. It's almost disturbing, actually. He's, it looks like the guy is a video producer. But um, be forewarned, a lot of the images are very disturbing. And the way he cuts and pastes and edits them in, it makes it look even more... It, I don't know, I think it perfectly emulates the style of music he is promoting. But I will put the, uh, the link to his channel after this is uploaded. I will add the link to his channel in the description. So definitely, the guy doesn't have very many subscribers. I know that's not really what he's looking for, a ton of subscribers, but his shit's inventive and fucking twisted, man, and you really need to check it out. Good guy, good content. It is definitely a step beyond what a lot of us are doing, just sitting in a room talking about music. So do yourself a favor, give Phantasmagoria Theater a try and subscribe and enjoy. Moving on to the record collection. A lot of these are just uh, 
Well, I don't want to say a lot of these are just whatever, but this album, Dead Brain Cells, this is a Canadian quartet. Been into this since high school, man. This shit is so good. This was 1987. Um, it's thrash, but with a hardcore mix to it, but it's more heavy on the thrash side. This album is fantastic. Out of all the Dead Brain Cell stuff, there are two albums. This is my favorite. It's just hard hitting, inventive, and sounds like no one else. Um, printed inner sleeve lyrics. That's it. All I can say is get this. If you find it, pick it up. If you're into thrash, you won't be disappointed. These guys are fantastic. Uh, the follow up album, Gen uh, Universe. I think the big hit on this was Genesis Explosion, which had a video on MTV. But like the, all the old uh, videos, it was out of sync with the, the music, was out of sync with the video image. This is a really great album, but they kind of went more Voivod, we, as in weird. Um, they, they lost the hardcore and went with the metal and a clearer vocal style, which took me a long time to get into, but once I did, I enjoy this album, but I'm never reaching for it. Whenever I want Dead Brain Cells, I'm going for the uh, self-titled. But still, worth having. Um, Death, Scream Bloody Gore. As you can see, the writing all over the cover. This was a WNMC radio promo. It's kind of sad that this is all defaced with fucking marker, but I could probably goog on it and get it off there. It doesn't even have an insert on the inside, and the record is totally hit. All scratched and shit. But I had to save it from the radio station. I bought this for a dollar a long time ago. Original pressing. It is a silver or the gold stamp promo. Which you can't see. Classic. And honestly, this is my favorite death album. This is where I heard the band the first time I heard the band, obviously, because I'm old. And uh, favorite songs. Zombie Ritual, Mutilation. Love that fucking song. Chris Reefert on drums from Autopsy Fame. This is just a fantastic album. Uh, a lot of people prefer individual thought patterns, symbolic. Yeah, that shit's awesome. But this, ugh, so good. Fucking awesome. Next up, Dead Congregation, Graves of the Arching, Arch Angel. Graves of the Arch Angel. Why can't I say that? I don't know. Um, really great album. Great band comes with a poster of the album cover, which I'm not gonna show. Printed inner sleeve. This band is like a heavy, there's a heavy vinyl on Nuclear War Now Productions. This band strikes me as very Im older immolation and uh, incantation influence, which therefore old school death metal, absolutely great. This is a fantastic album. Um, I think I like it better than their newest, which is right here. Uh, prom, promulgation of the fall. I don't know. Not a word I use every day in my normal vocabulary. This is also really, really good. Uh, I like the old one better. Printed inner sleeve. Black vinyl. Um, oh, nothing in there. These guys are great. I want to say it's Greek. There's some Greece. Perhaps I should do some. Uh, studying up on these things before. I used to remember everything, but shit's falling out of my brain the older I get. Uh, here's another set of personal favorite albums from back in the day Death Row, Riders of Doom. Is a combat noise pressing. Early, early pressing. This probably is an original pressing, I would guess. Uh, stateside pressing. The in uh, Europe, this album was known as Satan's Gift. Had a different cover. For some reason, it was changed to Riders of Doom and with the horsemen on the front for the U.S. market. <laughs> My guess is the whole satanic panic that was taking the U.S. back in the 80s had something to do with it, and the record label did not really want to uh, bring any more attention to this, negative attention to this album. Uh, the follow-up to that, 
equally amazing Raging Steel. Photo, photo here, they look like Creator. Don't ask me why or how. Must be just the leather jacket with the cutoff jeans. Uh, the leather jacket with the cutoff jeans jacket on the top. Fantastic album. Fresh, a very weird German style fresh. Listen to it a lot in my formative years. But this album, this is a special album to me here. Death Row, Deception Ignored. They uh, took their thrash style and amped up the technicality dramatically to the point where the songs, they're still very song, uh, reasonable song structures, but the, uh, the riffing is all over the place. Super technical, but amazing, amazing album. Uh, favorites on here, Invention, Concealment, Machinery, so good. After this, they put a uh, printed inner sleeve, lyrics on one side. After this album, they put out one more, which I do not have on vinyl, uh, Life Beyond. Kind of a slip in quality compared to this album. I mean, as far as technical thrash goes, but with memorable songs, this is what you need to get right here. Their Death Row Deception Ignored. This is an original pressing. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody show this. Maybe Craig did, Lace? I don't know. But this is uh, Moonblood. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a split with Death Spell Omega. Which is uh, Demoniac Vengeance. This is older style Death Spell Omega. More straight up black metal. Here's the fold out, or a gate fold. There's a flyer in here too, I should probably dig this out. Oh, I just came with a Somber Records mail flyer in it. This is a great split on Somber Records, the long defunct German label. This was number 226 out of 350. Great album. Probably goes for a small fortune online at some at this point. Which, yeah, it's nice to know someday when I'm dead and gone, my kid and wife might be able to uh, make some money off this stuff. But I'll never get rid of it. You know, if I hate something, I will get rid of it. But the shit's all pretty magical to me. So here's another original pressing on uh, End All Life Productions. This is Mutilation. And Death Spell Omega split 10 inch. I don't think I've ever seen anybody show this either. This number 363 out of 400. Very cool split. A lot of you are fanboying over mutilation these days, and it's warranted. They're a great band. Well, great project, I should say. It's not really a band. But um, this is an excellent split. I used to be a very big fan of the early Death Omega sound, and uh, I ended up liking them even more once they become more jazzy and um, weird. Speaking of, we're going to keep moving in that vein. This is Procletus, Paracletus, by Death Omega. Very nice package, heavy. All right, that tap, that tap on the record goes out to you, Brad. That's all for you, brother. Uh, gatefold comes with a massive book artwork lyrics which I believe are all in, no, they're in English artwork very cool package heavy vinyl printed insert printed inner sleeve I should say fantastic album moving along I got this recently. I was never a big fan of this band, but um, I picked it up for 16 bucks. I know it's kind of on the rare side. Defiance, uh, product of society. I'm a big fan of the old thrash stuff. I have Void Terra Firma, their second album, their third album. Their third album on cassette. Was never 
blown away by it, but um, I do enjoy this. Picked it up, relatively cheap. It's in rough shape. It's got creases, and you know it's been loved. It's also a hole punch promo. Good stuff. Next up, you just saw it because I showed it to you there. Destroyer six six six. Violence is the prince. Uh, I'm sorry. Unchain the wolves. Original pressing. On Merciless Records. It's a gatefold. Big fan of this band and album. This is on White Vinyl. I don't know how rare that is, but I'm assuming kind of rare. It's kind of cool to have an original pressing. I got this on eBay quite a while ago before the big uh, vinyl boom resurfaced. One of my favorite bands from Australia, for sure. Love these guys. In the same vein is Destroyer 666 with Phoenix Rising. Alternate cover to the CD artwork. This album is fantastic. My favorite Destroyer 666. Even though I dislike the drum production, it's very triggered out. Um, this is also... Nope, just black vinyl. The drum production is very triggered. <clears throat> But you cannot deny the fucking anthemic style Destroyer 666 has. You know, they redid Eternal Glory of War, which is a, a complete death black metal war anthem as far as I'm concerned. Lone Wolf Winter, I'm the War God. This album is amazing. This is basically, for me, the pinnacle of KK War Slut's vocal prowess. The riffs are fantastic. Although their new album is really good, and I also really like uh, what the hell's name of the album? After? Cold Steel for an Iron Age. I don't have that on vinyl. I like an original copy other than the repress. Uh, another Destroyer 666, Defiance. Like I said, a big fan. I used to have a couple of seven inches by these guys too, but gave them away to friends because, man, I hate seven inches. I just do. Defiance. Gatefold. I think there's a poster in here. There is. Now I'll show it. It's different than the cover. I think this is Reverend Chris Hades' artwork. From, uh, was he from? I want to say he was from Sadistic Execution? I don't know. I don't know. My memory is fails me. Printed inner sleeve. black vinyl I believe. No it's not, it's red. This album is really good, a butt. This sounds a little tired to me. It sounds like they were kind of, they were still very much knew what they wanted to do. This is still very much in their style, but it uh, sounds tired. Just does. Last up for Destroyer stuff is, this is the Hell's Headbangers. 666 to the devil his due this is a collection of all the band's seven inches which is another reason why I got rid of the seven inches that I had by them because I hate seven inches I have this one and this one but there's some more fantastic material Australian Antichrist I'm sorry satanic speed metal sirens call Lord of the Wild, King of Kings. This shit's all great, man. And it was very cool of Hell's Headbangers to put this out on vinyl, and they put it out on a very cool pinkish gray merge. Poster and comes with it with another, I believe it's just the album cover. I think it's another Reverend Chris Hades drawing. Awesome. And for people that are looking for the new album, Wildfire, I should be getting copies of that on vinyl and CD in the distro this week, coming, hopefully. Next up, Eternal Classic, German favorite of mine, Infernal Overkill. This is my favorite Destruction album. By far their darkest and most evil riffs, and a little less um, technical and a lot more song-oriented. Love this album. You should too. If you're a metalhead, you should definitely be into that. 
Also, I love this album too. A little less musical, a little less dark. Very strange production, but Eternal Devastation, the Metal Blade pressing, old pressing, no insert. And yet some more destruction with Release from Agony. This came out initially on Profile Records in the States. This is the, the German Steam Hammer pressing West Germany. Great album. Big departure from their original sound. I believe this is White Vinyl, yeah. Which is cool to see White Vinyl from the old days because it wasn't as common. This inner sleeve is all tore to shit, tore to hell. But it's well loved and listened to, which that's the purpose of records, isn't it? To listen to them. Uh, Destruction, after they got back together, this is... I don't know. The Antichrist. Get out of there right there. The Antichrist. It's decent. Interesting. Exploited cover. Fuck the USA. Which I'm assuming is a, a general consensus for everybody in Europe. Fuck the USA. Whatever. Um, this is decent. It's not something I love. You know, their All Hell Breaks Loose comeback album was quite good. And... I'm not going to pull these out too much because these are just kind of, you know, everybody has this. The Master, Dio, Holy Diver. This album is fantastic from start to finish. Out of all the old legends that have passed, he is one of my favorites for sure. There's Dio, We Rock, includes two live tracks, which uh, We Rock is the studio, Holy Diver, and Rainbow in the Dark. Recorded at Castle Donington, 1983. It's a single. Not getting a lot of listens, but so cool to have. Last in line. I mean, this is cool. I got this for $2.99. In great shape. Of course, Jimmy Bain is past. Dio's past. No one to replace the old masters, man. There is no one to replace them. And once they're gone, who are you gonna who are you gonna worship? Lamb of God? 20 years from now? Machine Head? Sorry, that shit's just not the way to go. Um, Sacred Heart, more Dio. I got this one for $2.99 as well. Great shape. Love me some Dio. Intermission. This is, uh, I think, one studio track. The rest are live. And the last one, definitely not a favorite. Dream Evil. What does it say? Features the hit single, I Could Have Been a Dreamer. Okay. It's not Holy Diver. It's not Mob Rules. It's not uh, Heaven and Hell. But it's good. It's Dio. Guy never sang out of his range. Always ruled. But uh, that's it for now. I might try to rock out one more of these before my time alone is up. Um, thanks for watching everybody subscribe if you like what you see and uh, definitely like I mentioned early on check out Phantasmagoria Theater and Gouge and Cosmic Church it's just fucking awesome I kid you not but that's it see you guys later